Okay, hello everyone. All right, so let's talk about the print functions separator. All right, so when you pass in multiple argument into a print function, so for example, if you, I wanted to display the word or the, display the string, we are, let's say, all the, I'm just going to change it to something else. I'm going to say my name, sorry, my name is K. And that's the first argument, and I'm going to say that my age is, and I'm going to pass in another argument here, 27. And I'm going to continue and say that my favorite number is, and I'm going to pass in another argument and say that 78674. This is not my favorite number, by the way. This is just, just number, a random number I came up with. All right, so remember I talked about, I've been saying that by default, when you pass multiple arguments into a print function, so these are multiple arguments. This is one argument, this is another argument, this is another argument, and this is an argu another argument. So by default, when you pass in multiple arguments into the print function, they are displayed with a space separate in them. So when I run this, we can see that they are displayed with a space separate in them. My name is K, uh, sorry, my name is K, my age is all the way here is one argument. We can see that. Right, my name is K, my age is, is one argument. 27 is another argument an argument on its own. And we can see that there's a space separate in them right here. By default, there's a space separate in them. This space I have here is not part of it. I can close the space and, and it will still work. Right? This space is just for me so I can read my code. When I run it, we can see that this argument is still separated yeah, with a space okay, from this. So this is just for me so I can read. Right. So that's one argument, 27. My favorite number is, is also one argument. We can see first of all that from 27 to my favorite that number is, there's a space here. And we can see that from my favorite number is all the way to this argument, this number here. There's a space also here separate in them. So by default, when you pass multiple arguments into the print function, yes, they are displayed with a space separate in them. Now you can change that value. First of all, I know that when I'm going to exceed this line over here, so I want to break this line into two. We've, we've learned about this. I'm going to break it here, and before you break anything, right, I'm going to type in the backslash and hit enter. That's how we break it. I'm going to take it back just so I don't confuse you with, with what we are learning today. But when I exceed a line at the end of the day, I'll break it, break it into multiple lines, right? So by default, multiple arguments are displayed with a, sorry, multiple arguments pass into the print function are displayed with a space separate, separate to them. If you want to change that default space, if you want to change that default character, the space which is separate in them, you can change it. And you change that by passing in a new argument. And you, that, arg that argument is called SEP, which stands for separator. So SEP, you set the value of what you, what you want to be the separator, right? So I'm going to set it to, let's say, a comma instead. I'm saying that change the separator, change what you use to separate each of these arguments from a space to now a, a comma. So anytime it's displaying these arguments, it's now going to display the first argument, have a comma there, display the second argument, and have a comma there, and so on and so forth. Right, so I know that I'm ex exceeding this line here, which is my guideline to, to help me type 80 characters on the line. I'm going to break it from here. And before I break it, I'm going to type in backslash and hit enter. Nothing has changed. I've just broken those two lines into two, but it's really one line. All right, so separator, we've changed it to a comma. When I run this now, we can see that each of these arguments is separate in, uh, sorry, it's separated with a space. So we can see the first argument, which is my name is K, my age is, my name is K, my age is, is separated with a comma here, right? And then 27 is another one separated with a comma. My favorite number is separated with a comma, and then the last number here. We can change the separator to, let's say, five hyphens, one, two, three, four, five. So all we're saying is, anytime you print each argument separated with five hyphens, so when, I, when I run it, we can see that the first argument, which is my name is K, my age is, which is this argument, has a separator, which is the, four, the five hyphens, and then 27, five hyphens, my favorite number is five hyphens, the number, um, and so on and so forth. So you can change the separator from whatever you want. We can change it to from a space to let's say um, um, let's say the the end sign, the ampersand sign. When I run it, each argument is being separated with an with an ampersand over here. You can see that. 
So there's a way to change that default space which separates multiple arguments when you pass them into print function. And that's what the SEP, or which, or, or which stands for the separator, but then it's SEP, you change that argument to whatever you want to you know, use as, as your separator. All right, so if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then, bye-bye.